mentioned with the baddest man on the planet for a long time, though. The title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler. Holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the challenger, Habib the Eagle, Nibagomeda! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Assassin. All right, this is from UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come out your corners, come out fighting. You ready? Okay, you ready? Let's go, all right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. It's like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Takedown lands. Big right hook coming is blocked. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. 
Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat all the way. Right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. If they try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Romago Medov stacked in side control here. Oh, he's got the ground and down going now. Under two minutes to go. Looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Attack an armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Oh, now he's in trouble. Level grappling yet. I mean, he had to tap. If he did not tap, this man is not opposed to snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day. But hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at four minutes, 11 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ. I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.